<laughs> well, hopefully going in. it won't actually change that much after this game because we're going to be jumping into it. So as we've seen in the past, Brock, Tick, Piper seems to be the go-to composition for teams when it comes to playing this particular map. Yeah, Casey running incinerary there. Actually, uh, could do there. Not actually running. He's running full, uh, full rocket there, which is just an interesting thing to note. Probably able to put uh, a bit more uh, pushback pressure onto uh, onto Code Magic there. Actually, I think he's at some very, very, very low there. Going to have to go back to heal up there. Um, should be okay though. But uh, no one's got that middle star yet. It's still sitting there waiting to be collected. We always talk about the risk and reward of it, don't we, Ark? If you go in and you get yourself killed, then it's a two for one trade. Yeah, and they cursed against Solo. Oh, a takedown there. Could do. There's some Bentley taking him out. So it gives yeah, him some lead. Three slow. stars over to Code Magic. Now they can just hold on to this one. We'll give the star over to Gweekle, who will walk away with that one star and make it only a slight deficit. They need to be able to still take the lead at some point. Parsville is sitting on the head first, so if they can get some chip damage, they might be able to find an opportunity to yeet that one in. Yeah, one kill here from Recaluna, and they will take the lead here. Tickhead going out from Parsifal. It's shut down quick, though, by KC. Quite easily. They all paid it respect, though, and created that gap of distance and able to, to take that one out. And the return takedown as well from Recaluna. They're not falling for these uh, these Tickheads in any way, but got to be mentioned here, Code Magic pushed back into their spawn here, and this could be a chance here for, Re uh, for Recaluna. Yeah, it's really annoying because, like, some Bentley is sitting on the poppin' right now, but he can't really use it because he doesn't want to destroy the cover in his own spawn. So he has to be very careful when he can press forward. He can maybe get away with it, but if he's getting tagged by Gweagle like that, he's not going to be able to do anything. This is so much pressure, and they just have to hold on. Code Magic just have to hold on for another 10 seconds, but one kill here from Rekaluga could end it all, and Sabelli's over, oh, he's down! Incendiary was able to find it with the help of Parzival, and they go into full retreat, head first, thrown out on the backside. And that's going to be the first game going over to Red Kalunga. Oh my goodness me. It was a really, really tough spot there for Code Magic. They were, they were pushed back into the spawn at a very early stage in that end game process. The arbiters of their own narrative. Yeah, I could have said it better myself. <laughs> it's possible. No, but could you though? Did you know those words, Ark? I'm just double checking. Ah, I don't read. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go then. KC and uh, Curse, they're swapping brawlers actually. Curse is going to be playing the Brock Lane with Incinerary there. Um, and, and Casey going for the uh, the tick, so that obviously was something which they felt in their team comp wasn't really gelling so well, so they've made some changes there. It's good to see they're still applying that pressure in the mid right now. And they're just going to be raining down the rocket. Kaida needs to be very careful. He ended himself in between the trifecta of those tick mines, and that's not a place you want to be, as Gweagle will walk forward and grab himself that first star, giving Red Kalunga that early lead. Yeah, it is still the one kill that uh, Code Magic will need to take the lead here. Um, but nevertheless, if the, if the score doesn't stay, uh, it doesn't change at all, then uh, it's going to be going towards Red Kalunga in terms of, but I don't think it's going to end that way. I think we're going to see a couple more kills and a couple more deaths. <laughs> I'd be extremely disappointed if it ended that way, Ark, because uh, damage is applied onto Curse. He's going to be around to the side. Sam Bentley finds Kader, so they will take the lead and the pressure in this game. With one minute remaining, now the gear has shifted for Red Kalunga. Yeah, I don't know if you saw that, but Curse was just so incredibly low on that left-hand side there, and uh, with the win and the whisker of going down. This is again on the right-hand side, at 840 HP. Is he going to survive here? Kadu is putting a lot of pressure on that right-hand side lane, and we saw this in the previous game as well. Yeah, and it's nice from Griegel there to walk forward, use the poppin to destroy the cover, and really put the... Uh, Code Magic into their own spawn. Head first, are going to be gone and traded. They'll cancel each other out, as you'd expect. And now some Bentley finds that pop shot on the back end of it. Parzival going down. It's now a 4-1 star. Make that six. Six one star advantage. And Kader is in a lot of trouble here. He's sitting on top of Tick Mines. He's got the rocket rain at point blank range. KC dodged it all apart from the last rocket. Will get away with 20 HP for now. That's the other side. It's 10, 6, swing, 3 seconds remaining, Red Kalunga tie up the set. Oh my goodness me! Again!